So next I got this glass straw and I wanted to try to suck up the whole egg through the- What is up guys? My name is Change Your Danger. I'm here today at a special location. This is basically the one spot that we can dive when the weather's really crazy here. And it's not that crazy weather. It's a little bit windy today, no big deal, but the waves have been insane. And so there's been basically no diving on the whole island. Um, and this egg thing has been going crazy and I really, really wanted to take the egg out again and uh, the one thing that's a bummer here is it's not that deep. Like you can see the bottom, it's like six feet deep here. So I will be taking it just in the water. It's pretty similar to taking it to the bottom where it's really deep, except for that I can actually breathe because I can go up to the surface and not have to worry about a fish stealing my egg. Bruh, can you not? So we're gonna get to do a lot more fun stuff with the egg today. So you're gonna want to see all of it. The thing that I'm gonna do at the end is so funny. It, it didn't go exactly as planned, um, but just like, from my POV, I haven't watched the video yet, obviously, but from my perspective, it was like, I can't believe that just happened. It's so random, so weird. Nobody has ever thought of this before. Um, so it's, it's really, really cool. Um, so if you guys are new here, go down, hit subscribe, ring the bell. It's the best way to make sure you get notified every single time I post a new video. And YouTube Shorts, you guys have been showing love lately. If you're coming from YouTube Shorts, drop an egg emoji in the comments below. I think it's time to get in the water and start playing with the egg. So let's go. So first I got my egg and then I went down to about six feet. So it's not as deep as the other places that we've been cracking them, but should be just fine as we're going to see here in a minute. So Brittany is here. She can help me film, which is really cool. So that's her perspective. And what we're going to do first here is get this dive knife out and then just tap along this uh, center line and try to get it to crack exactly in half. One thing that I really wanted to do before that I wasn't able to was crack it open without messing up the inner skin, which you may not know an egg has, but you're about to see it in a minute here. So uh, I'm trying to pull the halves apart. It's not quite working. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just crack off little pieces. And then you can see that inner skin. So imagine if I could get the shell off and keep that inner skin the whole time, that would be so epic. But I'm gonna have to try to dissolve the shell or something probably because as you're gonna see in a second here, uh, it's almost impossible to get the whole shell off of the egg without disturbing that skin because it rips so easily. So um, I'm like trying to figure out how to work on it, how to be faster, and then uh, finally end up peeling a piece off that just takes the skin right with it. So no hope anymore. I'm just gonna peel the rest of it off really fast and uh, do what I can with this egg. Of course, the yolk has absolutely no issue here. And so we can just keep peeling it off and then pour that egg out. And that looks so awesome from the second GoPro perspective. So I'm really glad that we can have Brittany film. I think it's better to do it here than to be way at the bottom because obviously it doesn't make much of a difference as to how the egg works. It was just a cool thing to do for my first try with it. So now I've got my little egg friend in my hand and I wanted to try this thing. I saw the guys do it in the video that I originally watched that had the egg and it wasn't very exciting to spin it around, but um, now we're gonna put it in a bubble ring and it just goes crazy flipping around like that. And uh, nothing happened to the white at all, which I was kind of surprised by actually, cause I was worried that the white would get messed up, but the white, it seems to be like a, an orb around it. If you break a hole in it, the yolk will come out of it, which is really, really interesting. So then I took a selfie with my egg friend and you guys saw those on Instagram if you follow me there. So next I got this glass straw and I wanted to try to suck up the whole egg through the straw. So I started sucking and I realized the egg was coming apart and just the yolk got sucked in and not the whole thing sliding through the straw. So oops, I've got a mouthful of busted yolk and when the yolk busts you can taste it and so I was like uh, I don't want this in my mouth anymore 
And then I was like, okay, I'm going to try to take some of that busted yolk and feed the fish with it because they like it so much. And I was like, bruh, I'm giving you the, f- the egg. Can you eat it? Hello? Does anyone want this free egg? And none did. It was so weird. And so anyways, with this eggshell, guys, uh, a lot of people said that I like littered before and the shell is the same as like sand basically. So it has no problem being left here. And then I found this hair tie. And speaking of hair ties, Brittany and I have started our own biodegradable hair tie company because we were so fed up with finding hair ties in the ocean that we knew we're going to last there for hundreds of years. Britt loves to wear them when we go diving. And as you can see, they hold on strong to her hair. And even if they did fall off, she has peace of mind that they're biodegradable. To get yours, go to surfrags.co right now. For my next egg experiment, I wanted to see if the fish would go crazy for this egg if I cracked it right in front of them. So first I showed it to them and then I tap, tap, tap around the, the perimeter of it like I did last time. And so I'm just gonna split this one straight in half. I'm not gonna bother with getting that skin perfect again. And it actually comes out perfectly even in the middle. I kind of thought it would stick to one side, but it didn't. So that was so cool. So I put my knife away and then I'm just gonna hang on to this eggy friend here and show it to the fish. I honestly thought that they would come and like swarm my hand, uh, but they didn't. And so just hanging out with my little eggy friend and never really got good clips like this because it was so hard to know the angle and be at the bottom of the ocean, but he's so bouncy and squishy, which is really fun to play with. Um, so even balances on one finger like that, which is really cool that that yolk just stays, or not the yolk, but the white all stays together. So then this humu humu nuku nuku apawa'a was kind of eyeing up the egg. And I was like, oh, he's gonna take the first bite for sure. And you can see from this angle, he's like really looking at it. And then it's finally like, eh, never mind. And then this other fish, uh, I forget what that kind is called, but he comes and looks at it. I don't want it to hit the sand because I didn't want it to get messed up. And and finally I was like, forget it. I'll just leave it over there because no fish were biting it. Like they were just looking and going away. And then finally the humu humu nuku nuku apua comes back and he takes a little bite of it and that's it. I thought that they would go crazy. I thought that they were gonna swarm this thing and they're just kind of looking at it. It could be because I started to get closer once the humu had had a taste of it. Um, and then this guy came up and had some, I think it's a surgeon fish or something. Uh, and these other guys looking at it and I'm probably moving a little bit too close, which is why they scattered right there. But I don't know, if it were me, I would be all over this egg. That's free food right there. Um, but we do have to remember that these fish are used to people people fishing here so they're probably expecting it to have a hook in it and they're like this can't be so free okay that was an excellent video i hope you guys enjoyed all of my yolks okay that's that's uh, that's probably the only ones i can't believe the egg in the straw like <laughs> it just it was slowly getting sucked in and i was like okay i think i've popped it at this point um, but I already was able to do all the other egg stuff that I wanted to do, so that was pretty good. The one thing I missed out on though is I really, really wanted the fish to eat the egg. So because I wasn't able to feed the fish, I'm gonna have to come back again and do this again. So if you wanna see it next time, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna be coming back here. More eggs, more fish, more fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more egg videos, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I normally just clean up trash, go have fun in the ocean, see animal friends, and just, you know, regular stuff, but it's fun, it's interesting, it's different to bring the egg out, to bring other things out. Maybe I could think of something else to bring out, uh, but it's just gotta be uh, organic the way that the egg is. I don't wanna bring out like plastic things and mess around with plastic stuff too much. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!